Hello, I'm Lieutenant Commander Shannon Martin, call sign Fraggle, one of the Aviation Safety Analysts at the Naval Safety Center. Aviation has a long history of true confessions and there I was stories among aviators. Maintainers also have this opportunity. So today, I've brought Warrant Officer Charles Clay, one of our maintenance aviation analysts at the Naval Safety Center, to maybe tell a little story about when he was a young sailor. Charles, how are you doing? Pretty good, Shannon. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So tell me about AD2 Clay. Tell me about a story about when you were a young sa sailor, Charles. All right. Uh, yes, I was uh, many years ago. I was in um, FRC Norfolk, and uh, I was stationed there. And one time we built this T-58 engine, and uh, we was rushing to get it built. So we got it built, and we uh, uh, installed it on a test sail. We ran the engine, and the first, uh, when it started up, it actually uh, caught on fire and blew up. And uh, they did a mishap investigation on it, or investigation on why it had the mishap. And they found out that the engine had the wrong components in there, and some of the items were installed incorrectly on the engine itself. And what do you think you guys could have done to maybe help prevent it? And and how have you prevented that going forward when you're working with sailors of you as you have gone through the ranks? Uh, I think uh, planning, planning before you do it, uh, by the book maintenance. Uh, think about what you're doing before you do that task. You know, the time we was rushing, we had perceived pressure. We were trying to RFI engines to get them uh, to meet our monthly quota, and uh, so we was we had a perceived pressure that wasn't actually there, but we was rushed doing the job. Now, Charles, you are also uh, one of our presenters of maintenance risk management briefs out in the fleet, uh, where you get to share some stories with the fleet, but you also get some feedback from them. Are there any things that you've heard from them or any good things that come out of those maintenance risk management briefs that you would like to share out with the fleet? Oh, yes, I have uh, many conversations with uh, feedback from the MRM briefs, and it was saying that a lot of things that the sailors and Marines didn't know what was happening out in the fleet. Uh, what were some of those cause factors of uh, failure to supervise and fail to use publication? A lot of the maintainers didn't know that. They didn't know some of these sea stories that are continually happening over and over again. So to keep that uh, uh, true confessions and stuff like that, MRM is probably one of the best things we, we have out there so we can tell our sea stories to our uh, up and coming maintainers. All right, and do you think that it's a good idea? Is Would it be a good thing if we could take those sea stories that we tell upstairs in a wardroom, if maintainers could bring their own sea stories to the shops, those there I was, to prevent it from happening within the shop? Is that something that we could do out there? I think it's a great idea, Shannon. I think we should do that. That would, that would be great, and, and also maybe write a HAZREP if it's worthy of a HAZREP so that we can get the information out, not just within the squadron, but out in the fleet. Yes. Well, thank you, Charles, for coming and telling your story. And thank you for going out to uh, do those maintenance risk management briefs. If one of our uh, fleet units wants a maintenance risk management brief, how do they get one? Well, at the State Center, we have a, a SharePoint website. And on that SharePoint website, you click on aviation, and we have a maintenance risk management icon on there, and it has a point of contact on there. And call that point of contact so you can schedule a maintenance management presentation for your unit. All right. Well, thank you, Charles, for coming out. If you have a true confession or a good story to tell that you think would be great to share with the fleet, please contact us at the Naval Safety Center. If you're interested in a maintenance risk management brief by Charles or one of his team, please go out on the website and request one. And if you have any questions, whether it's about maintenance safety or aviation safety, contact the Naval Safety Center and our analysts because we're happy to help.